my channel. I'm super excited to film this video because it means I'm about to go traveling because your girl needs a vacation really bad. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Faith and I moved to China about a year ago and I've been studying Chinese for the past year kind of non-stop. So, but fairly regularly because we live in China, we get to travel because there is so many countries nearby. But we are actually heading to Vietnam in like an hour. We're heading to the airport really soon. So I thought I'd show you the snacks I like to bring when I travel. So it's a huge mess on this table, I know, but I have been traveling for quite a while. And so I've come to find what snacks I love to take with me, what snacks pack well and keep well. And so I thought you guys might be interested. Um, and maybe I eat some weird snacks that you've never tried before. So anyways, I'll just dive right into it and make this a really quick video because I got a pack. So the first thing I'll show you guys, which is like super weird, but baked sweet potatoes make the best travel snacks. So these don't last. This is like the only thing I bring that's semi perishable. It'll last me like one or two days. So um, I just bake them for a long time in the oven and then I put them in a Ziploc bag and I usually just eat them like the first day or the next day for breakfast or lunch, they just make an awesome, satisfying, sweet meal. Um, I love eating them with peanut butter or with fruit, which you can get in a lot of places. So if you've never traveled with baked sweet potatoes, you need to try it, it's so good. Um, yeah, so just place them in a Ziploc bag and eat them. They're like perfectly packaged, so you can just like chomp away. So weird but delicious so this is the first thing i want to show you um the second thing we always take with us when we travel are energy bites so in here i have two different kinds and basically an energy bite is like a rolled up granola bar so i'll link some of my favorite recipes down below but this time i'm taking some oatmeal peanut butter raisin ones and then these guys are like raw brownies they're made with almonds and dates and cacao powder and so they're just such an awesome snack. I find that these last for like two weeks out of the fridge so I usually just bring a Tupperware and as we eat through them I'll just put other snacks in the Tupperware so it doesn't take up a bunch of empty space but you guys these are such a good travel snack. Um, they can even if you eat enough of them they could even be a meal like if you need if you don't have much to eat and you're looking for something quick these are great so Highly recommend energy bites. I'll link the recipes down below. The next thing I'll show you, which I honestly don't think are the healthy, healthiest things, but I love them, so it's okay. And so I usually eat these as treats when I travel, which are like Cliff Builder Bars, which are like chocolate bars. I mean, they're so good. And then Cliff Bars also. So I live in China and I don't have access to these things, but if my friends come to visit from America, they usually bring me some, and which is such a good gift. Like, if anyone wants to bring me food, I'm available. So, and then these I actually got off iHerb, which is an awesome company, and they ship to China for like four bucks. So, yeah, these I take for like if I don't feel like eating out and I want something simple for a meal or I just want a fun treat, like something that tastes like a chocolate bar. These are awesome. So Builder Bars, so good. Full of protein and so they keep you full. Not the healthiest, kind of more processed is what I mean. A little more processed, but they're not going to kill you and they're delicious. So highly recommend like any kind of granola bar. There's like Laura Bars and some Luna Bars are vegan, so you can check those out. Um, the next thing I love to bring is a nut butter. So in America, you have access to like healthy, natural, packets of nut butter and I don't have access to the healthy kinds but I did just find in my Walmart just these tubes of probably like Skippy or who knows what's in it peanut butter but it's delicious and easy and so I'll probably just squeeze these on sweet potatoes or on bananas or apples such a good quick thing yeah to fill you up and so and they're under like the three ounce rule, so they're perfect. So just get the packs. Um, you can probably find all kinds of flavors in America. But I was super excited to find just any kind of packet of peanut butter. So that's another thing I bring. And then dried fruit is also an awesome snack. Dried fruit or trail mix or nuts. I'm sure you guys all know this, but these are just it's a bag of dried apples that I dehydrated myself. So they don't have anything on them. It's just such a good sweet snack or 
if I can't find any fresh fruit, I can chop these up, put them on my oatmeal, all that good stuff. So dried fruit is so good. Dates, dried figs, prunes, raisins, all that stuff. So good. Um, let's see. Another sweet thing is just granola. So this is my homemade chocolate granola and ever since I made it, I like can't keep my hand out of the jar. Like I just go back in the fridge and just like pile some in my mouth. So I thought this would be a fun treat to like sprinkle on oatmeal or even like to eat with my sweet potatoes. It sounds weird, but with some peanut butter, it'd be so good. So I never traveled with granola, but I feel like you can usually find um, like little containers of soy milk in most um, countries. So you can even just have some cereal on hand, which is awesome. So yeah, granola is great or any kind of cereal that you can just munch on as a snack. For something salty, I love to bring my homemade crackers. So these are my sesame whole grain crackers and made with oat flour and whole grains. And sometimes you just need a crunchy, salty thing. So I have the recipe for this on my channel so you can check them out. They're so easy to make, so good. These would even be good with peanut butter, like everything goes well with peanut butter. but. I think it's so good to have a mix of sweet and salty and crunchy and soft and just like all these different textures that you can choose from so that you don't get bored with your food. So another thing I highly recommend is to bring your favorite drink, um, whether that's like instant coffees or via packets. Um, for me, I love Lipton tea, like I just grew up on it. So I just have like this bag of Lipton tea bags because you can find hot water anywhere and usually on the plane they can give you hot water and I just like to drink the tea I'm used to. So I always bring my favorite tea or coffee with me wherever I go. So, and I completely forgot to get it out, but I always bring oatmeal. So right after this video, I'm gonna go pour tons of quick oats into a bag, maybe add some chia seeds to that bag and just mix it up. And that is like the perfect go-to quick meal. Cause you can make it with cold water, you can make it with hot water, and then you just add you could add the dried apples or the peanut butter or even chop up the sweet potato, whatever. Eat it with a granola bar. Such a good, healthy, quick snack. So the last two things, gum. I love gum when I travel. Like if you can't brush your teeth right away or you have like the nastiest breath ever, gum is great. Or if for some reason you can't get to your food and you're about to land but you're starving, it can just like help hold you through. So love gum. And then I also usually just bring a couple pieces of fresh fruit for like the first plane ride or until I get to wherever wherever I'm traveling to and can just buy fresh fruit there. So I will probably be bringing maybe one or two more apples and bananas and yeah, so that is what I'm taking with me. You don't have to take this much with you for sure, but we're going to be gone for about 10 days and so some days like I just, my body can't handle eating out again. Like I know I'll get sick if I eat out. Um, so I love to just bring enough snacks with me that I could create a meal with it if I need to or um, yeah we're going to be doing lots of hiking and kayaking and so it's so good just to have like snacks that you know where it came from and what's in it with you so yeah you don't go hungry so I hope this was helpful I hope it gave you some new ideas I'll leave all the links down below for like the energy bites and where I buy my granola bars and all that good stuff so I will see you guys once I get back from Vietnam. I plan to do some recording while I'm there so you can see a little bit of what we see and maybe some delicious vegan Vietnamese food, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, leave your comments down below. Let me know some of your favorite travel snacks because I'm always looking for more ideas. I'm always switching it up and, oh yeah, last thing, just saw this. Bring something to eat all your food out of. Like I always bring one bowl and usually a spoon and me and my husband just take turns eating or whatever, so. Anyways, I gotta go pack, I gotta go catch a plane, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks or so.